Hello, everyone. It is Mark Berman from TV Media Insights. It is Wednesday, December 5th. I would like to welcome you back to our daily video cast. And let's begin today with news of a new animated sitcom on Fox called Murder Police. This will debut next season. It will focus on a police detective working in a zany precinct. And to me, it sounds like the animated version of Barney Miller. This is Fox's first new animated comedy since the short-lived Alan Gregory, and it could be a step in the right direction, because remember, the network on Sunday, which airs its perennial animation block, has lost a lot of steam. The Simpsons are down, Family Guy are down, nobody writes about this, and the network needs new, fresh programming. So we have Murder Police coming up next season on Fox. Over at ABC, they have announced their plans in mid-season. The network will introduce six new series. They will return Dancing with the Stars, Bring Back Body of Proof, and Suburgatory is shifting to Wednesday at 8.30. The new shows are dramas Red Widow and Zero Hour, comedies How to Live with Your Parents for the Rest of Your Life and Family Tools, and non-scripted The Taste, which is a cooking competition, and Celebrity Diving, featuring C-list celebrities diving. Now, I have the schedule for you at our website and on today's newsletter, but I will say this, of the six new shows, the new series that I think has the best shot of succeeding is How to Live with Your Life with Your Parents, excuse me, for the rest of your life. This is a comedy with Sarah Chalk who moves back home to live with her parents, including Brad Garrett. It comes from Claudia Lono, who played Diana on Knots Landing. And I thought the TCA session this past summer was outstanding. So keep an eye on that show. And the schedule is at our website. I have for you today the updated weekly ratings in prime time for the 10th week of the current season. That is the week of November 26th, CBS and NBC tied for first. CBS once again was most watched. The two networks were tied among adults 18 to 49, and CBS was first among adults 25 to 54. Both networks were up year to year. The biggest loser was Fox that lost as much as 40% of its audience from one year earlier. They have a lot of work ahead. And the moral of the story is the X factor is not the voice. Let's go to Showtime Homeland. This past Sunday, averaged 2.2 million viewers, which was a series high overall for the evening, was 2.5 million, and it actually beat its lead-in, Dexter, for the first time. When a scripted series on Showtime cracks over 2 million viewers, this is a big deal. There are two episodes left this season of Homeland. On today's newsletter and on our column, I have a Q&A that I did with the creator and the producer of Married to the Army Alaska on OWN. Her name is Stephanie Dracovich, and this is the type of inspirational docuseries programming that I think we need on television. It follows the lives of seven women living in an Army base in Atlanta, and it shows what it really is like to support the heroes of our country. And that is on our newsletter. I hope you will check it out and at the website. Let's go to an item in TV history. Do you remember Macmillan and Wife? This was one of the four rotating dramas on the NBC Sunday Mystery Movie Wheel. Well, on this day in 1976, it came back as Macmillan. Susan St. James, who played the wife, exited after a contract dispute. And also exiting the series was Nancy Walker, who went over to ABC to star in short-lived The Nancy Walker Show and Blansky's Beauties. McMillan opened season six on this day in TV history in 1976. And that is our daily video cast from TV Media Insights on this fifth day of December. I hope everybody has a great day and I will be back with more news about my favorite medium, television tomorrow. Signing off, Mark Berman.